Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy Jake here and today I'm going to let you know if this $50 premium hidden face cup uh, box is worth it. Frankly, I was really surprised to see this in store. This is the European version of this collection. The US version looks very different. It also costs $100, so twice as much as this box. The, uh, the US version comes with 15 packs and a play mat, whereas this European version, both versions have the three promo card, but the European version has the full art shiny Rayquazar. Seven hidden fates pack instead of 15. A Pokemon TCG poster, so that's actually pretty cool. Wouldn't mind having that in the background of my videos. And a code card for the trading card online game. Personally, of the two versions, I would much prefer this version over the other one. The US version being twice the price is kind of a big deal because $100 for any Pokemon product is pretty insane. So $50 is much more reasonable and you still get all of the promo cards. Not sure why they're selling it in uh, US stores. Uh, I don't know if there was a distribution error or if the European market just didn't sell very well. All right, let's crack this baby open and let's see what we get. Oh my goodness, I just love the golden cards so much. They look so premium. This is the exact kind of card that I would love to get graded because, the oh God, they look so great. It would be great to have those graded, displayed on a wall, just exactly what you want in a product like this. So first off, oh, inside the box, we got the poster. The fact that it's folded really bothers me, but I guess that's what you gotta do if you want a poster inside of one of these boxes. Let's open up this poster. It's a pretty decent sized poster containing everything that you love from Hidden Fates. There's the legendary trio bird, Mewtwo, Mew, uh, shiny Charizard, where are you? And of course, uh, Met Metagross and Zoroark. So every single of the promo cards from Hidden Fates are in the poster. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Inside you also get a Jumbo Rayquazar GX promo card. These promo cards always do so well in terms of value. They're always worth a couple bucks. It's pretty cool that they just give you this kind of deal inside of one. Inside the European version of the premium collection, we got ourselves ooh, some sticky packs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven Hidden Fates pack. A promo card probably for the three uh, copy of the holographic cards right here. First up, we got Lunala GX with this very cool kind of like blue and purplish design. All the cards uh, are very nice. None of them came bented at all. All of them are in immaculate condition. I really appreciate that uh, they did this for the premium box because you really hate it when a card comes and it's already bent. So this card is perfect. But the moment of truth is always the back. The back looks really good as well. I don't know if there's... Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. What is that tiny little white spot? No! I don't know what that is, but it's not coming off. So that's not good. That like instantly brings it down from a, a, a 10 to a 1. So that's that's a huge bummer. Yeah, just a little bit of damage like that is all it takes. So there you go, Lunala GX. I'm gonna see if I could do something about that white spot. If I can't, then I'm gonna have to get myself another copy. And then we got Sogalio GX, also looking really cool. I wish for Sogalio they did kind of a little different design. I get it now. Uh, the purple color is of course for Lunala being a psychic type. And um, the Sogalio is of course being the steel type. So that's why they did kind of like a, a, a grayish color for Sogalio, but it really doesn't pop as much as Lunala. Wish they did a different color, but that's all right. On the back, looks much better. This is a very nice copy of the card. I'm gonna leave these bad boys up right after the video. Final promo card is, of course, the Rayquazar GX. Of the three cards, this one is by far the most playable. 
Rayquaza RGX is no longer in standard, I don't think, but that's a really cool card anyway. Yeah, very cool. Shiny version Rayquaza RGX. Rayquaza always does well in terms of value, so definitely gonna have to keep this one. We'll get these card graded someday. On to the packs. Haven't been uh, opening up Hidden Fates for a couple of weeks. We've opened over 300 Hidden Fates pack on this channel, boys. Pretty insane. Pretty insane. I've just done so many videos on it, and we still got a couple more Hidden Fates video until we get that shiny Charizard GX. But Hidden Fates is so good, never disappoints with good cards. Misty's Determination, Caterpie, Paris, Charmander, Slowpoke, Psyduck. There we go. Shiny Vault number 42 of the set. Swablu, shiny version. Yeah, very cool. Already have one copy of this card, but it's always nice to have a second one. And we have Weezing as a rare. Hidden Face is reaching an all point low in terms of um, collector prices. All the cards are very affordable now. So if anyone wants to com collect the set, it's really now is the buyer's window. The seller's window is pretty much closing. If you want to sell Hidden Fates card, it's pretty bad right now. Cards are super cheap for Hidden Fates. Everyone can buy some. Farfetch, Misty Cerulean City Gym, Brock's Pewter City Gym, Cubone, Magikarp. I see something shiny in the background. Hate to spoil it for you guys, but it's going to be a cool card, I think. Clefairy, Eevee, Aragus Hospitality, Holographic Reverse, and in the back, Pinsir GX. Oh, got my hope up for nothing. Two great packs in a row, and I feel slightly disappointed. That's how great Hidden, Fa uh, Hidden Fates is. <laughs> like, get, pulling a GX card is so easy in Hidden Fates that um, you sort of like feel like, oh, you want something even better. I wasn't gonna recommend this product because I think like for 50, even for $50, it was pretty expensive, but those three cards, like the Rayquaza, Sigalio, and Lunala looks so great. Makes me really want to change my mind. Brock's Pewter City Gym, Chansey, Graveler, Coughing, Paris, Cubone, Voltorb, Geodude. Ooh, Matang, Shiny. Yeah, boy, we have the whole entire set now. I got the Shiny uh, Beldum, the Shiny Matang, and of course I have the Shiny Metagross GX, so that set is completed now. Very cool. Three good packs in a row. My luck has been on fire recently with that uh, Unbroken Bonds box. I did really well on the Unbroken Bonds booster box, and now these Hidden Fates packs are just really lit. A complete luck turnaround. Just a, a couple of weeks ago, I was opening up like the worst of the worst. I think I went 20 packs dry without a single good pull. It was pretty insane. But now it looks like, you know, what goes around comes around. Just how it is. We got Chansey, Missy Cerulean City, Jim, Sabrina, Suggestion, Pikachu, Clefairy, Cubone, Jigglypuff, Eevee, Ether Foundation employee full art. What is happening? What? Oh my goodness. So many cards that I'm missing from my collection is being filled out. Wow, that's a beautiful full art. Number 81 of 94. We did not have this card going into this opening. And here it is. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. The luck is just so with us right now. And Vaporeon Holographic Rare. Oh, so good. I just can't believe this. Like did not expect to get even close to this many good packs. Oh my goodness, this was a great box. How can I not recommend it now? Like, wow. Oh my goodness, that's so good. I mean, <laughs> what, what more can I say? Like, I, I'm pretty much speechless. That is not normal at all. One, two, three to the front. Give it a flick for good luck, or maybe the flick is making us lose luck. Who knows anymore? Lieutenant Sir Strategy, Chansey, Misty Cerulean City Gym, Cubone, Magikarp, Geodude, Clefairy, Eevee, 
Surviper! Oh my goodness! Shiny Surviper! Fifth good pack in a row. We are just milking this box right now. Wow! Oh my goodness. Everyone's gonna be like, oh my goodness, Jake, Jake with the luck. Yeah, yeah. Jake always has amazing. No, I don't. No, I don't. I don't always have amazing luck, but when it comes, it really rains, and this is what I like to see. Come on, keep it going. We can't let the train stop now. Can we get a perfect box? I don't think I've ever had a perfect box before, but if anything happens, it's going to be with Hidden Fates because the pull rates are just so good. Charmeleon, Misty's Determination, Scyther, Pikachu, Magikarp, Coughing, Clefairy, Staryu, Koga's Trap, Holographic Reverse, and in the back, Lapras as a rare. And the streak ends, but I'm not complaining. That is beyond expectation as is. A wonderful box, a wonderful box. Last pack, one, two, three, to the front. Toss the energy onto our pack. Sabrina Suggestion, Sy Scyther, Charmeleon, Ekans, Coughing, Paris, Cubone, Boltor, Cubone again as our holographic reverse and a little peek on the back. Best case is a holographic. Maybe like Bill's analysis at best. Nope, Blaine's last stand as our rare. All right, so that's all of our packs. What did I think of this box? Well, this box was absolutely amazing. Could not have asked for more. Do I recommend the box? I recommend my box. Can I say that? Because that box was so insane. But um, realistically, if you wanted Hidden Fates cards, I would just recommend buying the Hidden Fates uh, GX collection boxes. Those are by far the best bang for your buck. Those are really good prices right now at $20 for four packs. You get yourself a nice promo Charizard car or Raichu or Gyarados. Very good. Uh, if you just want the Rayquaza, the Sugalia, and Lunala, I would just buy them loose. But honestly, this box was so good. How could I not recommend it? If you guys want to get it for yourself, I can't complain. Like, if, if this was every box, then oof. Yeah. What a wonderful box. So, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy the content, then I hope you subscribe for way more Pokemon goodness. And I'm going to sleeve up all of these wonderful cards, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching.